Hey, as we guys already know that Android 11 does not allow access to some files with old read write permissions. So there is a new permission called manage external storage. Mm, there is detail about it which basically means we can read or write data to any folder except android slash data folder in the phone memory and the whole android folder in the sd card okay for these you have to use that one storage access framework blocks which i have created in previous videos and for everything else you can use this permission let's learn how to use it first of all create a new project and let me set api level 30 so you know it is working on api level 30 in our app we will add a list view and at the on create we will get a list of files in a list string and show that list string in the list view i will also show the length of the list in a toast so in case if the length of list is zero which means we did not go to any uh, file it will show zero that way we will know that our app has finished the loading actually we don't have to add these items here we will add them to collection create a more block we will call that more block here and here if you can't see the more block just add any block from the collection then delete the block that you don't need you will get your block so inside it we will place, place the data which we have just added to the collection and we will add a string variable let's call it path on clicking any item in the list view we will set that item to the path And for first time, we will get external storage directory for the file path. And yeah, on clicking in the list item, after changing the file path, we have to call our more block to get entries from that file path go to three dots menu select permissions and search for manage external files select this permission press back button go to on create here in my saf blocks i have added new block 
which sets action manage all files request add an intent component and select that intent here and here and in my saf blocks i have added new block which will tell you if you have the permission manage all files so here we will check if we don't have that permission we will ask for it otherwise we will do nothing only for demonstration i will add a button on clicking that button we will add new file to selected path and for selected path on long click of any item in the list view we will set that item as selected path and we also want to give users a visual uh, signal that that uh, their selected path has been selected for that we are adding a text view and we will show the selected path there only to show you guys that with this permission old file util blocks also work i will write hi to user selected path on exactly this moment if i compile the app it will ask me for permission i allow the permission from here and uh, go to app and in my app down there i have a folder called hi inside it i have only one file if i go back open my app again first long click on the hi to select it then go inside it and click on add new file you can see it have added a new file and i want to show you another thing you guys know this permission does not work on android slash data but i have created a few videos on how to access files in android slash data you can use both permissions together for example you allow access to android slash data folder and you have this permission you can access other files with this uh, using old blocks also in this app we are using old file util blocks but we have an example for new saf blocks also for example here 
we are just selecting an image file and show it in the image view as you know using my storage access framework blocks to show an image in the image view we have to convert it into a bitmap for that we have uh, we have to use a util block for that we will create a more block let's add source directly close the curly bracket and place our util block which converts image to bitmap and then open the curly bracket which we have just closed in the start and on clicking wherever we want to use so on clicking this image view we will try to load the image using new blocks for the uri we have to create a custom variable here variable type uri and name it anything i will name it uri lowercase we will get our uri from the document file and for document file we have to create a custom variable type document file name uh, let's call it my file so you create a java.io file with a file path selected using old blocks and you convert that java.io dot file to document file and here you will type exactly same name which you have typed there and now when we have a document file we will get the uri from it I know this is kind of messy thing but you have to do all of these things only when you have to use old blocks with new blocks but for most of things with that manage all files permission old file util blocks will also work so you don't have to do all of that mess and you may need to add these import statements now if you try to compile this app you may face these errors android x dot document file cannot be resolved so go to options and enable app compiled library i have tried compiling again and i got this error i thought this is because i am using it directly on the file so i have added it to the collection created a new more block placed that more block here went to the more block placed items there which i have added in the collection and i don't need them now 
in the collection so i have deleted and then when i compile it my app was working fine when i go to any folder and first long press on any image file to select it and click on the image view it will load that image select any other image file click on the image view it will load that but once when you select a non-image file and click on the image view it will disappear now you have nowhere to click i hope you enjoyed this video see you in next video till then bye bye take care and allah hafiz